Yo, 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 what is going on? I guess I should say AOEM Familia, really Kingdom Builder Familia. We are now getting a first look into Age of Empires Mobile. This is the beta that we are in, and we're going through the tutorial. We're going to give you some gameplay walkthrough, and we're going to be taking a first look at the game. So we're going to be, in this video, getting through the tutorial, uh, potentially making it past the story modes, depending on how long that takes. And I'm going to give you my thoughts along the way. For those of you that are new here to the channel, uh, I like to, again, as you see the channel aptly named, uh, Mr. Kingdom Builder, if you will. Um, I enjoy playing games within this genre uh, beyond that as well. But I typically, uh, again, games that usually fall under this kind of subcategory, you'd find more popular ones like Lords of Mobile, Rise of Kingdoms, State of Survival, uh, Call of Dragons is newer, Age of Apes, Whiteout Survival, etc. Right? These are games that, uh, again, for me, I'm really more of a lover, a purveyor of the genre as a whole. And so, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to take a look at this and just kind of see how things go. So, ooh, wow, that's like really sensitive. Also, it's actually forcing me to click there. Okay. I like how, we, I like how they're giving you kind of the initial movement screen, though, here uh, for kind of how that's playing out. And you get to... As far as with the kind of, it almost gives you this kind of free movement type of playstyle. Okay, lady, watch out. And we're probably going to go through these pretty quick. Um, you know, see if it maybe gives us a hint at anything. I'm probably not going to be really messing around with the... Ooh, can I do something there with that person? On this unfortunate individual. <laughs> I like how it says this unfortunate individual who met the demise a few days ago. That's pretty specific. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. I don't know if I'm going to watch too many of the animations, to be honest. So, uh, with the exception of what we showed in the beginning, really just want to try and get the tutorial as quick as we can, so there will probably be a decent amount of clicking, if you will. I think so far, it, it's interesting because, you know, this is kind of like an opening animation. You know, usually in traditional Kingdom Builders, you typically do not have this kind of a, you know, this kind of that, you know, almost like campaign type animation. Um, usually it's something kind of around or within your city, and it's really just more of an introduction on what are the city functions, right? So what are the buildings doing? Uh, maybe they'll give you some, uh, maybe you'll go and attack some kind of PvE unit, right? Those are, those are pretty traditional, um, at least for most of the Kingdom Builder tutorials that I've played through. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I like this. This is actually kind of cool where you get to like do the hammer. And bear in mind, this is very Age of Empires-esque, right? Where you, you're you going through here. And, you know, I'm someone who's played Age of Empires all the way up to a Age of Empires 3. I haven't played AoE 4 yet, uh, but playing AoE 2, uh, the DLCs there, playing Age of Mythology as well. I uh, very much enjoyed that. And so being able to play. So we're training some troops here. And again, this doesn't seem like it's potentially part of what the main city will be but we're training some troops we're going to come over okay so i can assign more villagers to speed up gathering okay so we do one. Oh, we can see the time decreasing too as well up here up to 57 seconds okay so now i have to click on my unit again and i think we're just going to end up moving them oh so that's kind of nice how you can if that's an interface part that we can use right where we can click on the quick nav here or the quick marches and then basically go there oops is that not working for me? Do I have to click this again? Here we go. Nope. What's going on? There we go. <laughs> this next thing was downloading too as well, so we'll have to take a look. Trace and blood continue. Awesome. We're you know we're we're getting closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to skip this at the moment. Maybe I should put this bottom. That might actually work out a little bit better. Boo. Oh, I guess that's just going to run through, huh? I wonder if that auto runs through and it doesn't even matter if I'm clicking. It doesn't feel like it is. All right, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. But man, this is, I mean, you know, listen, I, I'm, I'm so excited when I get to play New Kingdom Builders. I remember when Infinity Kingdom came out um, after I was playing Rise of Kingdoms for a pretty long time. And, uh, oh, do I actually have to click? Oh, I see, I do. So we're going to focus attack. Let's see. It looks like there's a skill gauge that we see. We see HP gauge. Skill gauge will probably pop, so maybe it'll ask for me to click here. Or maybe... Oh, never mind. So it didn't. That was pretty quick. Okay, we'll skip. Looks like we made it to another settlement. Transform abandoned house into swordsmanship. Swordsman barracks. Okay. Sure, why not? I'm all for that. Oh, 
Yeah, it, it's funny because you know, Age. I feel like the Age of Empires mobile beta that that we're going through right now is very much. It it really reminds me of more kind of playing that initial campaign in Age of Empires. The units, uh, you know, are are pretty. I would say pretty consistent from what we're seeing right now. At least again, kind of porting it over to mobile. It really has that feeling of that kind of hunter gathering that you would usually have right in those early kind of beginning stages. So it's nice. I mean, it, it, I think I think there's a lot of familiarity, right? Uh, wait, didn't I just train? I did. Okay, cool. I was like, what's going on? There? Let's skip this. And does that mean I can move now? I'm not sure. Okay, sweet. We can move now. Dope. So we're gonna go to the end. We have to defeat some elite barbarians. Fantastic. We've made it to Titan Farm. Oh, okay. Oh, can I? Okay, there we go. I was like, man, can I work my way up there? So we'll go here to this entrance. There's like a little skirmish that's going up here past the gate. And, oops, I will attack. What's, oh, never mind. This, he's already attacking. I can't even see. Here we go. Jeez, that's sensitive. Might have to lower down that sense. So we'll do a focus attack on the barb tower. Drag Josephine out of the arrow radius. But I'm not in the arrow radius. Oh, I see. I see what they mean. Interesting. So you're not getting a gauge. If you notice that, you're not getting a gauge when you're attacking a stronghold. Or again, if that could also just be something that's not necessarily mechanically relevant. If it's a part of the campaign, it's not kind of applying to basic uh, game logic. But that was interesting because it, it did when we were doing PvP, but when you're doing the PvE, it didn't it didn't uh, generate the rage bar at the bottom, which would be what they'd be using for like a skill. Right in that case, doesn't look like we can skip past this. Yo, is anyone feeling like that that person's avatar there was very reminiscent of Aquaman? <laughs> well, look, my boy Jason Momoa, or at least his uncle, making an appearance. And it's actually a decent, I think, issue for time, right? We're at, or not issue for time, but we're kind of gauging how long this is going to take. It looks like we're almost at eight minutes uh, with where we are so far. So we have commander skills unlocked. So now uh, we'll attack. Skill will probably proc here, I would imagine. We'll probably click this once the yellow bar at the bottom fills up. So tap to activate the skill on the commander. Steel rows, hits. Oh, we can even see the overall percentage. <laughs> Riveting. This is the kind of pain I've been after. Okay, sure. Why not? You know, I mean, everyone's got their kink. Stay away from the flames. Oh, so I can actually micro away from the. Okay. I, oh, I see. I see. I see. Cool. 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 So it's not necessary, but I, I see. I, so we could have actually microed to the side um, prior to the animation hitting. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. That that they're giving you that option. Uh, that actually tells me a decent amount where the microing for this game actually could be a pretty decent aspect uh, if it's already giving me hints for that in the tutorial. I, that's actually something I like. Uh, again, for those of you who may or may not be familiar, right, Call of Dragons uh, is, is, is the game that I'm an official content creator for at the moment, and it really is very much so kind of at the forefront of uh, competitive PvP right, within the kingdom builder genre. It's really kind of at the state. It's really setting the standard uh, for what it is uh, across kind of all games within the subgenre of strategy. And that's mainly because it, it has things like true range PvP. Uh, there's a lot more f emphasis and focus on micromanaging your units. You have flying units. You can make on-field buildable structures. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of great things about uh, the game uh, compared to its uh, peers. Okay, so now we've made it, I think, past the thing. So I have six villagers to work with. We've gathered enough wood. Okay, we're just going to kind of go through. So it looks like this is what we have to do right here. I think, let's click on this real quick. Yeah, so Awaken History. Okay, so we need to finish this. So we're going to finish this real quick. And we're just going to go through the tutorial, kind of ASAP Rocky. doesn't really matter where we're building things. We'll just kind of throw stuff down. Uh, and we can see villagers that are being assigned right top right corner. We can see the amount that we have. So we have military power. We're going to assign some gatherers for berries. Ooh, dude, I love gathering berries. Yeah, you know, one of my favorite game modes when I was playing Age of Empires, outside of the, the a little bit of 
at times I'd play standard for like multiplayer and obviously enjoying campaign. But um, I always enjoyed playing a lot of custom games. And one of the custom games that I loved playing was like, for those of you that have played Age of Empires on PC, uh, I really loved playing like the No Rush games where like you were able to kind of build up everything and then, you know, basically have like your big war at the end. Uh, for some reason, I just always, I always enjoyed it because I always felt like I was able to experience everything in the game uh, compared to, you know, playing standard where, you know, you may not necessarily always get to late game. Sometimes you may not even always get to mid game. Uh, and so, you know, for me, it was always very enjoyable to be able to kind of have access uh, to be able to do everything. I always found that very uh, beneficial, at least for me. Okay, so we got the lumber camp built. We got to upgrade the town center next. And this actually, is, this actually isn't that bad. I like the visuals, too, as well. I think so far, visuals are very nice. Um, I like the aesthetics as well. Um, again, I, everyone's going to have their preference, right? If it's, you know, like real medieval, if it's fantasy, etc. Um, but I think the graphics that we're looking at is are actually really, I would say, pretty good uh, for what we're taking a look at right now. So I think we're searching for some intel here. Okay, we're going to skip this. Okay, clear some old maps. And go through. It's actually not that bad. We're at, what, 20, about a quarter percent right now. And we're coming up to about 12 minutes. So, yeah, I don't think it's that, I don't think it's that bad. Uh, we're going to skip this again. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and push this over here. So, it looks like we might have a couple stages that we'll have to go through. Search for the trebuchet camp. Uh, okay, we're going to search for there's some, some trebuchet camp. Oh, do I have to click this? Ooh, formation skills. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, I get to select which one I want, or is it just, like, by default? Um, drags the troop to deal charge. Drags the troop to deal charge damage to enemies along the way. Damage is 2,000% after. Oh. Can I read more of it? <laughs> Uh, maintain spear formation while remaining mobile for 15 seconds and deals damage to running. So you're maintaining spear formation while remaining mobile. That's actually not bad because it, it means that you don't necessarily have to be set in place. <coughs> Excuse me, especially if you're trying to defend against Cav. Uh, obviously, if that is uh, the counter push there. Drags the troop to deal charge damage enemies along the way. This actually doesn't feel that bad. Oh, to enhance the commander's skill. Okay, so, oh, here we go. Oh, it's already preset. Okay, this is cool, though. So we've got preview one, preview two. And then what I... Oh, I see. So what I, I get to select... I guess I'll just do the main one. Uh, so 15 seconds deals damage. Damage per rate... Damage rate per strike. 100%. Unit type in troop is pikeman. Okay, so soft formation is still... Right, okay, I guess we'll just, we'll just go with the standard. I mean, it's... Again, it's the campaign. I don't think it's going to matter. Potentially, maybe. Too much. We'll have to see if... The skill sticks with the hero that we have afterwards. So let's go here and then here. Whoa, is that right? Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, there it is. So, oh, interesting. So it starts. Oh, well, oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, so they're staying in formation like they are right now. Oh, cool. So it's almost kind of look like a windmill type of uh, effect or something that was going on there. Interesting. Um,. Can I click on this? Do I get another skill if I click on this? Okay. Uh, oh, it's already just, it's already telling me what I need to click. What I need. To, okay. Yeah, we'll just okay increase movement speed by thirty percent. Okay, it's not bad. Oh, jeez, look at that man. Shh. Yeah, he's got lightning bolts and stuff too. Jeez. Oh, Usies. Do I have to attack this person or no? Oh no, you're with me. All right, cool. Solid. Oops. Whoa. Can I zoom out? Let's see. Can I zoom out a little bit? Okay, I can. Oh, cool. Nice. I was hoping I was going to be able to zoom out a little bit. So we'll head in here. Can I skip this? Rough life. We can't. We have to watch. Beggars can't be choosers. Now you have nowhere to run. You have nowhere to run. Okay. That's cool. I mean, I can still go over the sides. You know what I mean? Like, I can break those wood down. And there's still some options. Okay, whoa, so I'm, uh, what is happening here? Oh, I see. Oh, so they're just going to run at me. I don't actually, I was, I was thinking I'd have to activate it and then go. 
but clearly that does not seem to be the case. Wow. And, ooh, let me move out of that. Oh, nice, nice, we microed that, sweet. Look at the micro. No, let's go this way. We're gonna micro there, sweet, we'll attack. Oh, can I hit this again? So, let's do it again. Bulwark, did I defeat? Oh, see, so there you go, so that was a good example of, like, you get the, you get the preemptive animation uh, that the skill's gonna hit. Okay. Uh, maintain spirit formation leaves flames along the moving path for three seconds. Uh, maintain spirit formation. Oh, wait, this is an upgrade, though. What is this? Soft formation. Uh, that reduces damage. Well, I like this. Reduces damage taken. Oh, I see. So it's the update pre update previews. Upgrade previews. Damage per strike. Sure, why not? Let's just do this. We'll, we'll kind of continue down this path. Okay. So we've cleared one so far. Uh, I think we need to keep going. Search for the trebuchet. I have to search for another trebuchet camp. Okay, interesting. Oh, here we go. So it looks like we're gonna get something else. Each time each time you deal damage to enemies, there is a 30% chance of a critical strike causing Okay, that's actually not bad. What's the upgrade? Is that just increased percentages? Oh, 60, okay, so it goes up to 60%. You increased health, these flames along. You know what, I like the crit. Uh, health actually isn't bad either if it's 20%, but if it's gonna scale, maybe this goes 40, 60. It does. Uh, let me see, these flames along, what does this do? Oh, this is probably what percentage? Oh, wow, so no. Oh, interesting. So no no, no, no increase there. Hmm. The health to me, I think, possibly could be better than crit strike at this point. Uh, because it is a flat. So I think we'll probably take... <clears throat> no, we'll just, we'll, yeah, let's just take the health. Why not? I think that'll still be okay for us. Um, so we'll go here. Uh, I think I'm gonna we'll activate this, and probably everyone's gonna end up coming to us anyways. I really want to be able to move, but it's not. Here we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's do that. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll start hitting if I can. Cool. Okay, let's move. Let's move. We can do it. We can do it. There we go. We'll come right back. We'll focus on hitting. I can hit my. I can activate my skill again. We'll wait for the next animation. Bam! There we go. That actually wasn't bad. I'm sure it'll be more. <clears throat> I really wonder if they're going to come out with a PC client. Yeah, like that's really where my my mind is, dude. Like I'm really curious if they're going to come out with a PC client uh, for Age of Empires Mobile. I hope they do. Uh, I, re yeah, I really hope they do. So we're going to go ahead and pop this again. This might be a little harder to move with uh, around the area. So, yeah, let's, whoa, whatever just happened there. Object not found. Okay. Oh, oh, I guess that was because I defeated the big guy. So we've, ooh, was that asking me to buy something? Huh. Okay. I could sense its vigorous heartbeat. Okay, interesting. In this case, we'll have more. So we're going to upgrade? Upgrade city walls. Okay. So we'll do an upgrade now. Again, man, like, the visuals are very appealing. Like, I really like the interface so far. I like how, at least at the moment, the interface is incredibly busy. Like, I think, to me, that's a very big thing, where you don't have just hordes of information, hordes of, oh, yeah, buy this, buy that. I mean, again, we'll see how it looks once we end up getting past the uh, initial campaign here, or initial storyline. Okay, so we got to build a mill. And we'll assign some villagers for this. Okay, we're going to do the farm next. Shocking, that actually didn't take... Oh, cool, so we can actually allocate villagers to the farm. Cool, this is, this is pretty standard. I like this. I'm actually a fan of that. And it's a little bit different. Like, see, this is one of the things I like, right? And I want to point this out because this is something I think is incredibly important is that when, 
when you are playing, uh, and this is something I've talked about in other Kingdom Builders that I've played, is that I've always enjoyed, I've always thought that this aspect of having uh, specific building engagements where you have to do kind of micro tasks in order to get something out of what you're building, right? Like the example is you build a farm. Maybe you send units on the farm to collect. Maybe there's like a mini game where you can go in the farm and you can plant seeds, you can water, you can chop, right? And those things will help you gather uh, faster, right? It's like a grind mechanic, right, that you can do as a way of if you want to spend more time in the game, it kind of allows you to keep up with potentially like low to mid spenders, right? Again, if you're kind of accumulating that amount of investment, um, and time that you're, and effort you're putting in over a period of time. Those are the kinds of things I, I, I would almost love to see Kingdom Builders do eventually. But this is this is this is still nice, right? Like I mean, it's a very it's a simple thing. It's a couple additional tasks. Uh, actually, kind of reminds me a little bit of Whiteout Survival, where you know you you build something and then you're kind of allocating certain people to go there. Uh, I'm obviously Asia has kind of been doing it for a while, so yeah. But no, I, but again, nice nice to see. That that's happening at least in the uh, Kingdom Builder space here for their mobile title. Okay, <clears throat> let's continue. So we're gonna build to the hospital. I think we're doing okay. We're at sixty-four, almost sixty-five percent. We gotta upgrade the town hall again, and we're at twenty-one and a half minutes right now, right? And we've been skipping everything. We've been like pretty much doing, I think, everything at solid pace. Oh, look, they have a quick use here. Access speed will be returned to your items. I like this. Um, I like the quick use thing. That's actually super convenient. I'm a fan of that. So you don't have to sit there and do everything individually. It just calculates it all for you. We're going to skip that. Clearly, they're having some kind of divorce argument. We don't want to get involved. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a final assault now. We're at 67%. We're about two-thirds of the way done. Sweet, let's let this load. <coughs> I will skip this. And, oh, it looks like we have a little time error. Oh, I, I didn't realize the timer before. So I'm just totally quick right there. Uh, the sun is setting. Do you see me clicking you? There we go. We're going to grab a buff. Uh, so we can do the same thing or we can do something else. The charge thing switches. To, oh wow, switches the trebuchet for the performance range attacks on enemy within range. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, increases max attack targets by three. What does this do? So it just increases a little bit more on four enemies within ranged. Uses thorns to deal AOE damage and daze. And ooh, this is pretty cool. Unit type is swordsman. Let's try something different. So this could be cool. I do. I do want to do the range though. So we'll we'll potentially try that. Uh, at a later time. So let's do this. And then I'm going to use the sword thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So it, okay, so it's it's an arc. It's a okay, so it's like a forward arc. I wonder if I can change the direction of the arc. That would be pretty cool. I'd have to see if that's a possibility. Uh, let's see. Next one we're going to go I guess we can upgrade, right? Uh, yeah, let's just upgrade. Why not? Right, that way. Okay, so let's... Let me do this first. Oh, can I move this? Oh, I can't. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to get... Okay, I see. So, it's based on unit direction. That's unfortunate. I really wish you could move it, like, similar to, similarly to, like, MOBA-type games, where you have this uh, ability, right? You have that ability to... Uh, let's see. Is it going to let me do it again? Here we go. So we'll do... Okay, yeah. So you can see it's based on... So you're using it based on who you're hitting. Or, sorry, who you're attacking. Let's get out of the way. And then we'll go right back and attack. We'll use this again. It's actually not bad. It deals... Wow, it is... Oh, jeez. deals a decent bit of damage. It's actually not bad. But yeah, too bad you can't move it around like you can in MOBA games where it's kind of free range. Like in, in Call of Dragons, you can do something like that, right? Where you have certain artifact skills that you're using and you can uh, you, you can change the direction on the arc positioning. Not to say I'm, I'm against this. It's just I like the ability to have a little bit more control of the skill because I think that allows for a little bit more of like the true skill from the player to be shown. 
Uh, leaves flames along the path. Maybe we just go with health here. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with going with health again. Uh, oh, maybe they'll give us a second one, right? Maybe we'll have two. Is this two skills or does this switch? Oh, I see. So it just switches from the main skill. Uh, oh, and I'm replacing. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's let's just show this. Let's just replace it. Let's replace it and see how this works. I don't know how close I have to be. Let's see here. Uh, let's click it. Oh, look at that. So it's... Oh, jeez. It really does. It, like, switches to a bunker. Uh, that is so funny. Can I move the bunker? Oh, wow, I can. So look at that. So I can move the bunker. It'll basically keep shooting. It's like a mobile base. Dude, that is pretty funny. That's pretty cool. Interesting. I wonder if those types of skills will also be... Uh, can I... I just want to go over here. Uh, and recovers 2% of health every 12 strike these flames. Okay, yeah, we can do this one. Flames could be cool. Right? Uh, I guess. Oh, I could do another one? Jeez. Uh, leaves flames of the past for three. I thought I already did that. I already have, like, a level three. I got, what is up? What is up with this? I mean, it's the same thing. Probably need to fix that, though, because it's the same on the numbers. So let's see here. Okay, we're gonna pop our we're gonna pop our bunker. This is so funny. Except we're gonna run here. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh my gosh, let me move, let me move, let me move. There we go. Flame, flame his face. Okay, there we go. Uh at least we'll do twenty percent health, why not? Because we're already there. Uh is this does this take me to another one? How many buffs am I going to get? Uh, yeah, let's just go more health. At this point, why not? Okay, I don't know where I'm going now. Let's see here. Ooh, ooh, this is going to be the final battle. It's the final battle. Maybe. Let's skip this. That's cool. I mean, just, you know, come at me. Come at me, bro. And then we're going to do that. We're going to move this, too, if I can. Cool. So we're going to hit. We're going to go out of range here. Oh. Well, never mind. Tap to close. Yeah, I mean, I kind of do. That actually went faster than I thought it was going to It was gonna go. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Okay. Uh, Holy Swords, we have to build a second Lumber Camp now. We're at 28 minutes so far. And like I said, I mean, we've been going pretty quick through this, you know, as far as, I mean, I imagine it would take longer if we were reading animations. That'd be something too. We're at 77% uh, before we can probably start taking a look at the outside world. Okay. Ooh, we get, ooh I get to train some more villagers now. Nice. So let's do that. Train two. It looks like I can, I can only train two. 20 food. So it's what? 10 food a villager? Okay. We'll head back. I'm going to build second mill. Okay. Allergies are real over here. It's military power. Okay. All right, so we have, let's upgrade our lumber camp here. And then we're going to head back. we got to upgrade two houses to level three. That's a level, we'll do one more. Okay, I mean, that's nice. Uh, upgrade down, okay, so well, it's actually about, we're at 93%. So we'll upgrade this. Probably going to have to do the quick thing again if we have to use some speeds. We'll do quick use. Uh, we got that done. Probably didn't have to do the quick use, but, you know, just because we're there. So, oh, cool. Now we're going to advance to the feudal age. So you get that at four. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, let me try not to die. <coughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so 15K wood, 15K food. 
and it's going to allow for us to go to the second age. Should I click on that or no? Oh, there we go. Okay, maybe I missed it. Your Highness. Uh, all efforts have paid off. We've boosted. Okay, that's cool. Let's just, I mean, let's just continue here. Uh, oh, this is cool. We'll watch this. Feudal Age, Age Advancement. Two. Oh, cool. Here we go. Upgrade complete. Uh, new buildings. We get a we get a quarry. Unlocks the town hall four. We get a guard tower. We get a bulletin board. Okay, nice. Uh, and we get new units. We get, uh, are these tier two? So these are tier twos. Nice. Okay. Ooh, and now I get to decide on what civilization we want to play. So, let's take a look here. Uh, when it comes to Civ. So, typically, if we're going to choose civilizations, I'll probably do a separate video on this portion. But what I will say is that you want to try and look for things that have, like, healing, uh, training speed, building speed, research speed. Like, these are typically things that are usually going to be helping you out a lot earlier in the game. So, like, where... Production speed's okay. I mean, it's, 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 it, this is probably like the most least important. I would say the most important thing here is probably the training speed, defense, and then production. If we're kind of going in order, uh, that's for Chinese. They have their special unit. Um, let's see. Chinese arrows are renowned for their exhibiting remarkable accuracy, rapid fire rates, okay, extensive attack ranges. Okay, that's actually interesting because if they do have true ranged PvP here, will they have different varying ranges? Like Call of Dragons has that where you'll have archers that are at far range and mages are at very far range. Uh, they even have uh, uh, archers or ranged uh, cavalry that's at a shorter range, right? So it's like a mid-range. Uh, they're repeating crossbows. Okay, so let's look at France. So France has, so this is swords, so Chinese is archers, archer, archer, wood. This is swordsmen, swordsmen, so percentages are the same. Throwing axemen, uh, launch throwing axes at their adversaries uh, to destroy formations. These troops uh, boast a greater attack range and enhanced damage compared to ordinary swordsmen. Interesting. Shouldn't this say ordinary axemen because it's a, it's a ranged unit? Is that just me? Okay, and then we get... Uh, cavalry, so, so so it's cav, cav, gold, right, uh, for Byzantines. And this is probably going to be consistent. They're probably not going to have, like, an OP sieve, so to speak. Uh, we have uh, maintained across, across, okay, with their discipline and rigorous training, they present a formidable challenge to archers. Uh, cataphracts, uh, if I'm saying that right, constitute the most formidable forces with the legion. Okay, then we get to Romans. So, yeah. So this is exactly what I thought, right? So it's, so you have, uh, what was it, archers, swordsmen, cavalry, and then pikemen, right? So I think at this point, probably what I would argue is, is more important on beginning Civ is, first off, what resource is more valuable, right? If you're trying to get small, like a small percentage increase, right? So do you value wood? Usually it's like wood food is very similar uh, to like the two most likely ones you're going to get. I would argue gold and stone. Again, it depends on how they do the ratios. In a number of kingdom builders, sometimes you'll have like the first two resources that are usually the most abundant, and then the third and the fourth resources typically have lower income rates, and that's because they usually will have lower RSS tile amounts of the resource on tiles in the field. So to me, I almost feel like gold production or stone is probably a little bit more important. Again, how much is that 5% really going to matter at the end of the day? And then it'll also come down to, like, what do you really want more of? Like, for me, I actually somewhat have, am interested in going Chinese, and I say that because I very much like kind of the ranged play, and I'm curious if they're going to have more of a pure ranged play versus other. Like, is it is it going to be, like, a true ranged PvP? If so, that's something that's actually inter that is of interest to me because I very much like the kind of micromanaging of troops. So I think I'm actually going to pick uh, China here. Are you sure you want to change civilization to Chinese? Embrace your fate. Uh, cool down one minute. Sure, why not? Yeah. So we'll do that. And that's my, that's my semi-logic there on that one. Ooh. Is that Caesar? I'm trying to remember my greats, peoples here, if you will. Uh, yeah, we're just going to skip that. Okay. Ooh, explore the world. Awesome. So now you can see the screen is, is a little more busy, right? It's a little busier now. I wonder how far we can zoom out. Let's see. 
Okay, so this is max zoom out range. If we, oh, it's not really giving me the option. Continue with the main quest to unlock this function. Okay, so we'll just head out into the world, I guess. Oh, look at that dude, it's like castles with the horse going. <laughs> Heading to the world, interesting. Okay. It's actually kind of is almost gives me like a civilization type feel, so to speak. <laughs> okay, let's defeat uh, a level one common barbarian. Here is what we're gonna do. So, is it not just gonna? Oh, I see. I didn't even look at the attack thing. Here we go. So do attack. Okay, interesting on the deployment. Uh, oh, I like how it tells you this. That's nice. It gives you the counter there. Who you're running. I probably can't do a lot here. Uh, looks like you get four marches total. We have an auto return that we can click on or off. March time. And there's stamina points. Also telling you if you have an advantage or not. Okay. I mean, so far I like the animation. Uh, yeah, I didn't need to use that there. We defeat a common barb. Okay. We got some Empire Coins, whatever that 1K book was. We're going to use some EXP to upgrade heroes. Okay, not bad. Okay, so level 2. Okay, nice. A little Dynasty Warriors action right there. Uh, okay, looks like we can do something. Okay, looks like they have like maybe a talent tree. So we've used that. Uh, we complete chapter one. Okay, cool. I just want to look around, though, is what I'd love to be able to do. The Great Ambition. Okay, fantastic. Can I, can I minimize this? Okay, even if I can't minimize this, I still want to look around. So let's... Oh, cool. So I can zoom out. I see my citadel. Let's look at the map. What does the map look like? That's what I'm really curious about right now. Okay, ooh, look at this. So, alliances, so we have like quadrants? Wow, I can actually zoom out pretty freaking far. Okay, dope stuff. Dope, 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 dope. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, let me like see the entire map. Okay, so this is max zoom. Here we go. So this is max zoom right now, I think. Yeah, it's not letting me go any further. Uh, oh, I actually probably could have done this, huh? <laughs> there you go, look at that. Small little things to figure out. Okay. So let's remove some stuff and just kind of make this all naked for us. So here is the map for a standard kingdom. It looks like, I mean, this is pretty standard, right? I mean, you have six zone ones, which are the outer zones here, right? So this would be Olympia, Gao, Kiono, Eastland, uh, Tanir, Nilos. And then you have three zone twos. Again, this is pretty standard. Uh, right, for those of us that have played, uh, again, if you've played, you know, Rise of Kingdoms, Call of Dragons, uh, you know, Infinity Kingdom, I believe. Well, Infinity Kingdom had actually more of an open map. Uh, but then we have uh, North King's Land, West King's Land, East King's Land, and we have Center King's Land. Right, so this kind of gives us the idea, uh, along with the middle objective here, you can see the Imperial City. So there's probably going to be some kind of King-Queen uh, system. Right, we'll, we'll take a look there in a sec. Uh, let's click off. Oh, I guess it doesn't let me click off, huh? Rough life. Uh, okay, let's look at allies. So nothing really shows for allies. I want to click off. That's unfortunate. It's not letting me. You know what? Let's do it down here. Okay. So we have alliance territory. So you can see here that there is some. I wonder if I click on this one. Okay. So it tells us the alliance. It's SSS. We can see this is POV. PHX. Okay. And you can see a lot of alliance territory over here in Kiuno and Gao, uh, and we'll take a look at we'll take a look at some of that too as well here in a bit. Uh, then we have alliance markers. Now I'd have to go and look exactly what the marker looks like, and they have personal markers. Those would be ones that we have. So the oh I see alliance markers is here you go. So it's a common marker, an attack marker, and a defense marker. But that looks like a hammer, though, right? Oh, I see. So the markers are actually on the territory, is what it is. 
Okay. So they have this territory. Does that mean that they have to capture something in the middle of the district or like this region? Oh, I see. They're just building an alliance fort. Let's see here. I guess that's all that means. Like, I guess it's just building something within this square. So, oh, I see. So it's a stronghold. Can I go to the stronghold? Oh, I, I can look at it. Okay. So they're building the stronghold. You can see the cities that are near it. Uh, and again, I would imagine the, you know, this is going to go a little bit faster too as well for how those look. Uh, but we have, F so uh, this is FRSs, right? So they're building stronghold durability right now. Garrison capacity, 2 million. Attack, auto city defense attack. We can scout. Okay. Cool. We zoom out. We still get a, a decent picture. So I guess you have to build potentially either a stronghold or something in order to get that. And then I would assume maybe after you build that, then you get some of the resources that are within that area, right? So like an example, we see whatever this gold thing is. Hang on. Let's zoom in here. Let this pop up. I see this gold mine. <clears throat> let's see what happens when we click on this. Because there's different things here, right? So we have... Oh, it is. So it's Alliance Gold. So these kinds of things, I guess you have to build them in order to get those, which maybe is a little bit different. I don't know if there's going to be flagging. We'll have to go and look. Uh, we can go look at a, a deeper territory and probably just do that maybe at a, at a later stage too as well. Uh, so we have, again, you know, maybe I'll do a separate video when I think about that where we'll kind of, I'm already at like 40 minutes for this one now that I'm thinking about it. So we'll probably do a separate one where we'll like go over the interface. We'll maybe look at the map. Uh, I really just wanted to kind of get through the territory and just like look a little bit on the outside world. So yeah, I think with that in mind, I'll probably just call it here uh, and hope you guys enjoyed this first gameplay walkthrough as we go through the tutorial, we go through the campaign, and then we take a little bit of a look at the map and it's kind of a few interest points here um, in the first kingdom. Also curious real quick, now that I'm thinking about it, I want to see if it tells you what kingdom I'm in. Let's see here. Oh, I could probably customize that. Oh, I see. So we're in Kingdom 1. Uh, I probably have to rename myself too as well. That would probably be helpful. Let's do that before someone potentially takes our name. Also, can I have spaces? Oh, I might not be able to have spaces. I bet you, I bet you that's what it is. It's probably got to be all one word. It does. All right. Sweetness. Okie dokie. Uh, with that in mind, that's going to do it for me. Let me know what you guys think uh, so far, right? Uh, again, what would you think about the tutorial? What did you think about the campaign? Uh, we talked about the interface. We talked about a few things we saw skill-wise. We were going up against some of the PvE units. Uh, thoughts on the map. Thoughts on the graphics. Uh, again, I, I will say so far, I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, we're going to have to play through a little bit more and kind of see how things play out and the actual mechanics. But again, based on what I've seen at this moment... I'm interested to keep playing a little bit more. Okie dokie. That's going to do it for me. As always, until next time, I'll catch you all later.